Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent and we are back here on Pokemon Shiodon today. We're going to be building an OU team around Volcarona and then we're going to be hopping on the ladder, testing out the team of course, making any changes that we do feel are necessary, and the final product will be down below in the description for all of you to try out of course. So let's just go ahead and hop in right here. So first of all, we're going to look at Volcarona right here, really nice special attack stat, also a decent speed tier. It's forced out by quite a few Scarfers as well as priority attacks. Priority is mainly Ash Greninja's Water Shuriken, as well as Mega Pinsir's Quick Attack, but it definitely does have great sweeping potential. Obviously, the uh, 4 move slot syndrome is also what affects it quite a lot, because the set that we're running can't really break through Toxapex because we're running HP Ground and not the Psychic, so we definitely need to be able to deal with Toxapex when we are building right here, but overall, a really solid mod, just wish it had a little bit higher defense and maybe a little bit higher HP stat too, but we do have 311 as our HP stat just to make sure that we can switch into Stealth Rocks twice because if you run an even HP stat of course you go down to Stealth Rocks but obvious is we do need hazard control when we're adding our first Pokemon right here and hazards are also really great so Defog Defensive Landorus T would definitely be cool but I don't really want to go that route we can maybe add some other Landorus T later if I feel as though that's cool but I did say we need a D way to deal with Toxbex and I think Tapu Fini it's actually a really great option right here because it can defog any sort of T specs it wants to put up and it can also defog and basically the Misty Terrain also helps out Volcarona in the sense that you can't get toxic or T waved under it which is really great so really helps out as a Volcarona as a win condition right here. We're just going to run the standard set with uh, Moonblast, Defog, Taunt, and Nature's Madness as I believe the, nature, uh, the standard set right here and then we just run 248 in HP and then we're going to go ahead and put Max speed, and then I believe the standard is just this, and then 8 in defense right here. So, Tapu Fini, definitely, probably one of the best support mons for Volcarona, just because of the Misty Terrain, as well as the fact that you can defog and taunt any sort of tox specs from putting up T-Spikes, which is really nice. And it can also help wear down Chansey, too, because you can Nature's Madness and then taunt, and Volcarona obviously struggles against Chansey, so I like that. And uh, when we're looking at more Pokemon to add right here, we do still need something to switch into uh, Mega Pinsir, of course. Celesteela would be a cool option, but it's kind of passive. I don't want to go that passive on this team right here. What else do I feel is a good option? We do need hazards of our own. Mega Deontay could be a cool Stealth Rocker just because it obviously has a magic bounce, so it can bounce back any sort of opposing Stealth Rocks and can put up our own. Obviously, that would create double fairy, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. And I kind of like the idea. We're going to go ahead and roll with that for now. Mega Deontay with Stealth Rocks and three attacks. I normally run four attacks, but I actually like the set, so... The question is, what move are we going to forego? I think we're going to let go of Hidden Power Fire, just because we don't really need to weaken stuff like Ferrothorn or Scissor to get a Volcarona sweep off. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and go right here with Moonblast, Power Gem, and Earth Power, of course. Earth Power is really great to hit Tran. At the same time, we do have Hidden Power Ground on this too, but... I mean, obviously Tran can trap Tapu Fini with Magma Storm. I think Earth Power is the better option anyway, so we'll go ahead and do this right now. And go ahead and put that 4 into the defense stat right there. If I do feel as though Hidden Power Fire is the better option when battling, we can go ahead and change that. I may also change up the Stealth Rocker in case I feel as though I do need all four moves on Mega Deontay as usual, but we're going to go ahead and roll with this for now. So now we have nice Magic Bounce support right here alongside a nice Defogger, so this is really great for Volcarona. We also have our own Hazards as an option right now too, so we still need a Mega Pinsir switch in. <laughs> is a pretty big thing right now. What would a, Well, I don't want to go triple fairy with Assault Dust and Gear now. We already have an Ash Ninja switch in and Tapu Fini, so I don't think that's a very smart option. Mega Pinsir switch -ins. We already have our Mega Deontay, so I can't go with another Mega like Scissor, unfortunately. Zapdos would be cool. I don't want to start adding more Stealth Rocks weaknesses, though. I mean, we do have good Defoggers. It could be a cool option. Zero Aura can... It probably doesn't switch into Mega Pinsir, but it's a good check to it. Zeraora can definitely check Mega Pinsir pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and do the Zeraora, I think. I mean, Assault Vest Tangaroth looks kind of good here, too. Just to help out against Shift Gear Magirna, but Volcarona can take that on, too. Let's go ahead and do Zeraora for now. I think that's a really great option right here. It can take, pretty much check Mega Pinsir, which is a pretty big threat to this team right now. Obviously, Mega Deontay can take it on, but I really like the speed tier here, too. And it forms a nice Volt Turn Core if we want to add something else later. So let's go ahead and just put Max Attack right here. And max speed, of course. Well, actually, do we just want to run the speed tier for Mega Lopunny and Mega Manectric, which is uh, 192? We'll go ahead and roll with that for now. There's really no reason to run the max speed right here. And I'll just go ahead and put nice minus defense nature, because we are going to run the mixed set as usual. 
Do I want to go e belt or life orb? I think life orb is fine. Nice damage output. Plasma fists, obviously. And then this is also really another great uh, chancy breaker right here. So I could go close combat. I think plasma fists will do it though. And then we can go ahead and run fire punch right here because we did forego the fire coverage on Mega Deontzi. We probably do want it on this right now. So plasma fists, fire punch. And then we can just go ahead and go with a volt switch, of course, and hidden power ice. So that's really looking really nice right now. And we are going, as the, we are trying to use this to take on Mega Pinsir though. So let's go ahead and put minus spadef on here. Not that it'll make a big difference, but it's definitely something to consider, of course. So, start of a Voltron core right here. We already have hazards and hazard control on the board. I'm liking the look of this a lot. Now, obviously, we don't want to have Pokemon that struggle in Misty Terrain. So, any sort of Dragon type attackers like Dragon Net, Zeke here in black are probably not going to be a smart option. We do still have our Z. No, we don't have our Z slot open because of Beginium Z Magirna. Never mind. So, we can't run any sort of Z movement, which is unfortunate, but. Volcron is a really good Z-move user anyway, so we can go ahead and deal with that right now. Let me just kind of scroll through these Pokemon, make sure I have good checks to a lot of it. We can deal with the Zygarde with Tapu Fini, which is cool. We deal with Magnezone naturally. Yeah, I really like this. Mega Mawile could be a threat just because it has Sucker Punch for Volcarona, and these two don't, these three don't really want to take on player ups. So Lando T could f complete our Volturn core right here. What Lando T set would I run? Probably just Scarf. Scarf Lando T would be good. Nothing else that I'm really that's really catching my eye right now. Scarf Land RT would be a cool win condition as well. Let's go ahead and do that, I think, for now. Scarf Land RT definitely can take on Mega Mawa, which is a pretty big threat to this team right now. I mean, obviously, we do outspeed it with quite a bit, but nothing switches in. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Max Attack, Max Speed Jolly. I don't think that's the set, but I think it's actually... I'll double-check the EVs as usual. I don't memorize the Scarf Lando EV spreads from Smogon. Let's go ahead and run Choice Scarf right here. And run Earthquake. Do we want this to be a spare Defogger? We probably should run Defog on this because we have Volcarona. And Tapu Fini may not be reliable depending on the matchups. Like if opposing Tapu Coco is a giant threat to this team, we probably want Defog on this too. So let's do that. Taunt Coco is definitely a problem with Tapu Fini Defogging. And then obviously we're going to go ahead and go with a U-turn and... What do I want my last move to be? Knockoff is an option. Hidden Power Rice is right there too. Hidden Power Rice doesn't really help out Volcarona at all. I think I'm going to go with a Knockoff to help out with Chansey's of Violite. And yeah, I'll get the EV spread checked out here, of course. But we have one final Pokemon. And we've done pretty well avoiding Stealth Rock's weakness besides Volcarona. So I don't want to just throw on another Stealth Rock's weak Mon. I mean, we could deal with that. We have double Defog right now, so... We have a Volturn Core, so another really strong Wall Breaker could be cool. We already have our Mega. Deoxy would be the first wall breaker, obviously. Really strong Pokemon. Just to make sure that I have uh, EVs on everything correct. It appears I do. So let's go ahead and... We already have a Choice Scarfer. I don't think we need a faster Scarfer. I mean, opposing Volcarona could be a problem, but they don't really run Giga Drain, so I'm not too worried about that. And one final threat. What do I want it to be? we got so many cool options right here. We could go with a physical Hoopa. Physical Hoopa would be cool. It really helps out the, with the Volturn support right here, and we, and it would be a nice physical wall breaker alongside Mega Deonti. We don't really need any more Defoggers, so like, there's no reason to earn Lottie right here. As much as I do want a Dragon, but at the same time, like Misty Terrain. Obviously, I know we're levitating, but just Dragons in general. Let's go ahead and run uh, Hoopa on Bound right now. This has the bulk to take on quite a few Pokemon. Has lots of special attackers. That special attack, special defense stat right here is really good. So we're obviously just going to go with the standard spread. Max attack, max speed, jolly, choice band. This thing is so strong. It can also help break out, break through Tran, which surprisingly, spit off Tran doesn't even go down to plus one Volcarona's hidden power ground, which is just ridiculous. But let's go ahead and go right here with Hyperspace Fury. Obviously, Gunk Shot. We don't really have a reliable way to break Clef, so this can also help out with that. Two more moves. I mean, obviously Zen Headbutt. And then there's a few options right here. We can go with the Drain Punch, Ice Punch. Lots of cool options. Fire Punch too. I mean, we already have Zero Aura. I think we'll go ahead and go right here with the the Drain Punch. Just because Tyranitar is kind of a problem. After we burn our Bugsy, we don't even break through that with the Volcarona either. So Drain Punch could be a cool option right there. And let's put the 4 into Spideff right here. And uh, yeah, that looks good to me right now. I'll get the Lando EV spread checked out, of course, but that looks pretty good. Of course, we can make any changes while we are battling. 
but I'll be right back with our first game. All right, we got our first game right here. This guy is running pretty nice balance right here. Very weak to Volcarona if we can weaken the Tox specs. And Hoopa is just really good at clicking Hyperspace Fury through his team right here. I'm going to lead off right here with my Mega Deontay. As he leads Zapdos, I do pressure this with Power Gem, so I'm just going to go ahead and click that. If he wants to give me damage on the Tox specs this early, I will take that no matter what. And if he goes Tapu Bula, we can go ahead and scout for whether or not it's Assault Vest, which is also fine with me. So he's going to switch to Tox specs. I'm just going to stay in right here. I don't want him getting up T specs on my Deontay. So I'm just going to go ahead and weaken him right now with Earth Power. And this is going to help out my Volcarona a lot. I don't care if he scalds me for damage. As I know he's going to go ahead and switch out right here. So I'll go ahead and hit him with a nice Moon Blast now. As he does go out into the Tapu Bulu. So we're able to catch this thing with a nice Moon Blast. That's definitely AV. So that's good information right there. I don't have a great switch into this. I can just get up a Rocks right here. Pretty freely. Alternatively I go Scarf Lando. But it's still going to take a lot. Mega Deontay is really good here though. So let's go out and tell Lando is right here. As he goes ahead and clicks Horn Leech. Good play. As now that he has the Intimidate on him, I'll go ahead and just U-turn out right now. The Sableye is not Mega Evolved yet though, so hopefully we can get back Mega Deontay in and get up a rock soon. So he's going to go ahead and switch out to his uh, Zapdos right here, which is totally cool with me. I'll go ahead and bring out my Deontay again right now. And I'll just go ahead and get up rocks this time. I don't think you want to stay in on a potential power gem. Deontay's really good here. I just have to be careful. Does Earth Power get affected by terrain? He T-bolts. Doesn't para me though, which is good. And now that we have a rocks up, that's really going to help out my Volcarona too. Just going to power gem right here. No point in predicting. As we can probably knock this out, maybe? Depends on the Zapdos set, if he's more defensive. So he goes out into Tapu Bulu again. Which uh, makes sense for sure. So he's probably just going to go ahead and Horn Leech again. The terrain is gone now, so we'll go ahead and go back to Lando right here. As he goes ahead and clicks that, of course. I'll just uh, U-turn out this time. On the Zapdos coming back in, I think. Because, uh, I mean, what's the set going to be? We know he's a Salt Fest. Would he have a rock coverage on this? Because we already weakened Tox Specs a lot. So maybe plus one hidden power to ground can actually knock that out. And we might be able to win, like, an early match right here. So we're able to U-turn out. This is a very interesting decision right here. Do I go Volcarona now? I think it's worth it. As he clicks Nature's Madness, not a big deal. I can Quiver Dance now. And uh, it'll be fine. I mean, obviously, I don't want to be put in range of the Zygarde, ex Zygarde's Extreme Speed, which he might be able to do with the spawn, but he's at minus one. And I don't think they run Rock Coverage. I think they run Nature's Madness, Dual Grass, and then Super Power is the set that I would usually run. So let's go ahead and try to make this work. And I think the Toxapex is in range of Hidden Power Ground now, so that's good for me. We have Hidden Power Ground for Tran. Obviously, if that is Spidef Tran, is it Air Balloon? It's not Air Balloon. Would it be Shooka Berry? I don't know. He is Spit F. This is plus one HP ground. It should do a lot, even if it's not going to knock him out. It just straight up knocks him out right there, so that's good for me. Let's see what he brings out next. I'm going to Calc Root his Toxapex, the attack. He goes out into Zygarde. I can just Bug Z this and knock it out. He might scout for it for sure, but there's no reason for me to not click it right here. And Volcarona going to work pretty early is really good for me. This goes down. There's no way this lives. As we go ahead and knock out Zagard, which is a really big threat to my team. And Volcarona is going to go ahead and pick up the win right there. So I think we timed it right, despite the fact that he could have had a rock coverage. I don't think he would have had it on this type of team. And I'll be right back with another game. Okay, so I laddered up a bit off screen just because I didn't check my rating before starting. And also, this team is 6 0 by Volcarona. Tapu Koko was actually changed for uh, Zero or Well, I changed Zero to Tapu Koko, which has grass, not just because rain is a giant problem when I was laddering, as well as. Tapu Koko plus Halucha, so I figured Tapu Koko would be the better fit right here, but yeah, this team is actually just loses to Volcarona. Yeah, I just gotta get one Quiver Dance up and we should be fine. Rocks can help out in that regard, so let me go ahead and... Well, I guess I won't be getting up Rocks any on this anyway, because he's gonna go ahead and try to get up his own, I would assume. He's actually Scarf, it looks like. So I'm gonna taunt this, just to prevent that, and then I'll go ahead and just weaken this guy with Ninja's Madness right now. Prevent Leech Seeds. Maybe he doesn't have power up. I'm sure he does. I don't really care about taking damage on this. I mean, Scarf Tapu Lele could be a problem, I guess. Let's do the Volcarona now. And uh, just try to win. Okay, never mind. He went Tapu Lele now. So, no way I can sack that Mon. He's going to go for Psy Shock. I know he's clicking Psy Shock again. He should be locked in. Yeah, there we go. And now what I can do is just go ahead and... 
probably just click Hyper Space Fury. He doesn't have a good switch in. Well, because he doesn't have a good... I should take one hit with Hoopa, I think. He goes Tango. This is going to get blown back. Yeah, that's not taking that hit, man. You can go Landorus now and get the Intimidate off, but we got damage on it. This is going to go down in one. <laughs> this thing is definitely dying right now. Yeah, goodbye, Tapu Lele. That's good for us. Brings back his Landorus to you right here. I got to go Feeny before he gets up Rock so I can spam Defog. Just goes for U-turn. That's totally cool. What I got to do right here is uh, taunt once again. Prevent any sort of Leech Seed or Spike from going up. As he just clicks power up, now I can sweep with Volcarona. Which is the uh, moment that I've been waiting for, basically. It goes Lando. I don't think this can take a plus one Flamethrower. Maybe it's Sash. Oh, it can take that. Okay, we got a burn, though. He goes for, what, Z-Fly? Okay, so this might have been a bit premature. He knocks me out anyway, so... While that burn sucks, it's not the biggest deal. Especially since Mega Deontay can win this now, too, because he gave me the damage on Ferrothorn. Maybe I should have played this a little better and weakened this first. I don't know why I went Hoopa right there. Let me double to Lando. On the U-turn, get some chip burn damage on him. Well, whatever he brings out now. And we'll go from that. So he goes out into Zapdos. I can just bring out Deontay right here. On uh, the Heat Wave. He gets a burn on me, which is, I guess, alright. And what I'll do right here is just click... We'll just click Power Gem, I think, or Moonblast. Power Gem is probably fine. Sacks off his Burnt Lander's T. Yeah, I think uh, I might lose because I sacked off that one Mon, Volcarona. Okay, let's go Lander's right here. On uh, the Giga Drain right there, that's fine. I can just go ahead and uh, hit him up with a knockoff, get rid of the AV, or Rocky Helmet. So it's actually defensive, Tangrowth. As he knocks off my Scarf, that's probably better for me. I'll you turn out now into Hoopa. On the hidden power. Hit, him, hit this guy up with another hyperspace free. This should get two it KO'd and we can't get static because of the fact that this is actually a non-connecting move. So we're able to knock that out. And as long as Hoopa stays at this health, we will not lose to the to the Alakazam. Which is what I'm kind of scared of right now. So I'll knock this off right here. Get rid of his item. He goes for the spike right there. Interesting play. Well that put me in range of Alakazam. It very well could. I just need a bit of damage on this though, so we're gonna go out into this right here. Hit him with a nice Earth Power. You got a nice crit right there. And now I think I can just go ho Hoopa and click Hyper Space. Well, actually, maybe not, because Tangarth is gonna get recovery, and that's what I'm scared of. So let's go ahead and bring out Tapu Koko right here. Hit this thing up with a nice T Bolt. Nearly knock it out. Yeah, I, maybe he'll have Protect. I have to hope he doesn't, I think. That takes to so much too, yeah. I can just go ahead and T-Bolt again right here. Get the same roll and knock that out. And now I think I just Hyper Space Fury because I don't think Zam can knock out Hoopa. So I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, I guess just T-Bolt on the off chance he doesn't want a Mega. Trace is Electric Surge, okay. Why did he? So I'll just click Hyper Space Fury right here. Because I don't think he can knock me out with anything and then I just knock out the last two. Yeah, that's not going to matter. I didn't click a contact move. Yeah, Shadow Ball's not knocking me out. So, kind of got sketchy after I sacked off Volcarona early. I really expected to Flamethrower to do more to the Lander's T, but Hoopa managed to come through in the end anyway, and that's going to put us in the 1600s, which is cool. I'll drop a GG in the chat, and I'll be right back with another one. All right, got another game right here. This guy does have a Halucha, so I just got to keep my Tapu Koko healthy. Tapu Koko is actually a giant threat to his team. He doesn't switch into Hoopa very well either. I mean, he has Zygarde and Magamawal with Intimidate. So I guess he can deal with that. Mega Deontay's a giant threat, though. Let's lead off here with Lando. I don't want to lose to Azu. Although we might. We might end up losing to Azu. Alright, so I'll just go ahead and hit this guy up with a nice... I think a U-turn to start is fine. I don't know what he would do. Just probably get up rocks. I'll U-turn out here into my uh, Feeny. As he does go ahead and uh, click that Stealth Rock right there. I'll go ahead and Defog now. He might just stay in an Earthquake for the damage. I mean, he doesn't really need this damage. Actually, I guess it could help out his Zygarde, so... Maybe he'll stay in an Earthquake to maybe set up for a Zygarde sweep. I could see that. Unfortunately, my Volcarona is pressured by Aqua Jet, which is just not a fun time. Alright, let me go ahead and do this Moonblast right here. And now I'll Defog again. As uh, he's actually going to go ahead and explode. So, rip the... Defog. We still have to guard for Defog on this, though, so I think we're fine. 
I might have to do that right now, but it could put me in a bad spot depending on what he brings out. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out Hoopa right here. He brings out uh, Tapu Coco. Let me check if we can take a U-turn from Special Coco. Coco, Choice Specs against a Hoopa Unbound. Let's say we're Choice Banned. And then let's go ahead and get rid of... Let's put him in Neutral Nature. And click U-turn on here. How much is U-turn doing? It really does that much from zero attack Coco. Okay, let's switch out here into Lander ST then. As he actually goes, goes ahead and gets up that. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this off. To prevent five turns of the other screen from going up. Now I'll bring back Coco on the U-turn. I know Zygarde's coming out, and it's probably just going to win. I have to stay in and spam HP Ice. I think we can counter to Zygarde, maybe. If I stand and spam HP Ice, and then I go Landorus after. So let's go for HP Ice right here. Doesn't do the damage that I need. Yeah, this might be over. Yeah, this guy's not an OLT player, but I've been seeing so much stuff like this. Like, dual screens Coco, I to just set up. That's why I don't like the OLT. Uh, ladder, but it's fine. He's gonna go ahead and D-dance up one more time. He's probably 50% buried too. Okay, I'll bring out Lando now. He just dragon dances again, so he is indeed 50% berry. Okay, I'll go ahead and I guess just Earthquake right here. No, he's Rest. He's Rest in on this thing. He's Rest of Chesto, okay. So I gotta switch this out again and sack something else. I'll sack off the Hoopa right here. We already took damage on Coco too, so... Ah, uh, yeah, there's something I can do right here. This Zygarde is just going to go ahead and 6 0. So, unfortunate match right there, but there was really not a ton I can do in that scenario right there. He just got up the rocks and honestly had the better matchup with all the setup mines right here, but it's alright. I'll be right back with another game. Alright, got another game right here. Unfortunate last game, but there was really nothing much I can do right there. Volcaron is really good right here. I just got to get a bit of damage off on Unaware Clef if that is what it is. And I do have to use my Z on either Zygarde or Victini, so ideally I got damage off on one of them before sweeping. Banded Hoopa is really good right here. I can bring it out if Tapu Lele is locked into a Psychic type move. I'll go ahead and just bring out my... He might lead Celestila. He doesn't... Or just Cleft to get up rocks too is a potential. So I'll lead off here with my uh, Tapu Coco. As he actually leads off with Tapu Lele now. We saw that my terrain went up first. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? If your terrain goes up first, that means he's not Choice Scarf. So I'll go ahead and Volt Switch out right here as he's not Scarf. And uh, I'm assuming he just clicked Moonblast right now. I, can, I can't risk Koopa, because then I'm going to lose to Zam, so let me just bring out... What doesn't do a ton of work? I need Feeny for Zagard. Deontay is good right here. Yeah, Deontay is really good right here. Let's bring out Scarf Lando. Just because he has a Celesteela, so what's that mon doing? Goes ahead and hits me up with that Psy Shock. I'll just uh, knock off now. Has he really stayed in? It's kind of surprising in my opinion, but he's not locked into that, so I'm glad I didn't U-turn at least. As uh, what I can do now is just bring out my... Probably just go Deontay and click Power Gem. That's a pretty safe play. Maybe he'll give me damage on Celesteela right now, which would be really cool. Yeah, he's going to go Celesteela, which is good for me. Because that's some good damage right there. Honestly, I'm going to let him... I'm going to let him do this right now and get up my rocks. So yeah, he's going to protect for lefties. Rocks are really going to help me out in terms of weakening Victini into range of Bug Buzz. So I'll go ahead and Power Gem again right here. And he's going to go ahead and hit me up with that Heavy Slam, which is... Totally cool. Not sure if he has other coverage, but Volcarona can come out now, and that's pretty much what I've been waiting for. So let me go ahead and hit this guy up with the Quiver Dance. And we can scout for whether it's Unaware Clef or not, because the, we have rocks up, which is good for us, so... Not sure what he's going to do right here. Goes immediately into Victini. Is this really a choice, Scarf? Even if it is, he has to win a speed tie, and I'm hoping that's not the case. So let me bug buzz right here. As he actually lived it somehow. And he's able to knock me out. I needed the Z move for Zygarde, which is the main reason I did that, but... Do I have a way out of this now? I mean, Tapu Coco plus Hoopa, maybe? Can do the trick. Let me, uh, HB Ice right here. Knock that out. So we got a KO, at least. Let's see what he brings out next. Maybe Zygarde right now. That could make sense, but I still have Feeny at good health, I think. Yeah, Feeny's still at full, so... I don't think this is over yet. Hoopa can take on the Alakazam. We already got a ton of damage off on Celesteela, and Coco can definitely T-Bolt Clefable for quite a bit of damage. And we do have Taunt and Gunk Shot, so... This might this may be actually possible, I just have to be sure that I don't get swept by Zam, which means I have to keep Hoopa at full, basically. For when that comes out. 
This guy's really debating what he wants to bring out. Goes a Clefable right now, which is... I'll just T-Bolt this. I'm Magnet, so it should 2-hit KO. Hopefully he, like, Calm Minds and just goes down the next turn. Goes right for Moonblast. That is a very Choice Specs Clefable or something. We T-Bolt again right now. Really? Choice Specs Clef? Are able to knock that Pokemon out. Yeah, I still think we can win, because Tapu Lele dies on entry, I think. And then we can just click Hyperspace Fury through a lot of his team right now, so... Brings out uh, the Alakazam, which is what kind of what I was hoping to com have come out soon. I'll go ahead and... Probably throw away Feeny right here. Well, Feeny's good against Zygarde, and can probably take on Celesteela with Taunt and stuff too, so let me T-Bolt right here. And uh, just see what he wants to do. And he's gonna go ahead and knock me out with Shadow Ball. So now I get a kill with Hoopa, which is good. Well, ideally a kill. I don't know what ha what happens if he goes hard to Zagard right now. But basically, if he stays in right here, I knock this out. This dies on entry, right? Good. Okay. So, still in a fine spot right now. If he goes Zagard, I go Tapu Fini. Whatever, if he goes out into anything else, I just click Hyperspace Fury. And uh, maybe we'll be fine. There's the Zagard. I'll go ahead and just go Tapu Fini right now. Will he double to Celesteela? I could just stay in, but if he stays in, then that's a bad play. He goes for 1,000 arrows. He gets some left easy recovery. I'll go ahead and just Moonblast right now. Moonblasting thing, this, this thing down, because I think if I Moonblast this, we can Hyperspace Fury, because it looks like he's some sort of slow set. So he's going to go ahead and do that. I gotta go ahead and, I think, taunt right here. And then follow it up with some Nature's Madnesses. He should attack right here. He shouldn't risk me switching out. As he just goes right for Heavy Slam. So, if I go Hoop on the Heavy Slam, can I still live the hit from Zam? Maybe. We're gonna try this, because I think I, that's what I have to go off of. I think we can live the hit from Zam anyway right now, which is kind of good. But the problem is Zygarde can come out after, and that's the scary thing. And two hit KO me with thousand arrows. So I can hyperspace fear or do I drain punch right here? Ooh. I don't think drain punch is gonna even come close to knocking him out though. Let's calc it against the defensive Celesteela. I mean we are a huge banded hoopa right now. Celesteela. Fire punch would do that much. Banded uh, I need to go for hyperspace fury right here. So we knock that out, but I think he has it with these two Pokemon. Unless he chokes away Zam right now, which would be a very big misplay. Yeah, out comes Zagard. Maybe Feeny outspeeds this, and that's kind of what I need to go off now instead. I need to hope he... First of all, he doesn't have E-speed, and then hope Feeny's faster. Okay, come on. Be slow without extreme speed, and then I win. Okay. Really? No E-speed? Is he faster? Feeny was faster, which means now he's faster. So how much speed? Because Feeny is like pretty fast, but he must have been just adamant fast as Agar then. Because Feeny hits 295, Hoopa hits 284. So let's look at Banded. Uh, let's look at Adam and Zagard right now because I'm kind of curious about that. Adam and Zagard hits 289. So yeah, it was just at max speed Adam and Zagard. It looks like, and that's what won him the match right there. So unfortunate result right there. But I'll be right back with another game. Alright, got another game right here. We ended up winning our first two games, and then we ended up losing two in a row, so I don't want to continue slipping like that. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off here with my Scarf Lando, and I'm hoping he leads off with Beedrill and tries to U-turn, and we just knock it out. I've seen players do that, and it's kind of a choke, but they definitely just try to U-turn out turn one, so hopefully that can work out in our favor. Even if he goes hard into the Rotom Wash, actually we don't really switch into Rotom Wash all too well. We want Feeny healthy, and I don't want to take an electric type hit with that, so maybe I'll just U-turn. But I think he leads off with the uh, Beedrill right here, just because it does so well against everything. This is where HP Fire Mega Deontay would be great too, because obviously the Ferrothorn, but the Rock's Pressure is really nice here too, so... All things to consider right there. This guy's taking a while to decide the lead matchup. Maybe he's expecting me to lead off with Deontay and... Knows that Beedrill cannot knock it out in one hit, is what he's maybe thinking, but then he would just lead off with it anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna go off the turn one choke right here. And hit this guy up with a nice Earthquake, as he does go Rotom Wash, which is the play that he always should make. As what I can do right now is just switch out here into... I'm okay with letting Tapu Koko get damaged, because he has a Ferrothorn and a Garchomp. 
Well, actually, no, I'm not. He has a Halucha. Forget that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and instead bring out, I think. Let's bring out our... How, how much work do I see Hoopa doing? Quite a lot, actually. Let's bring out our Deontay right here, I think. And if it takes a Hydro Pump, we're not Mega Evolved, so it's not the biggest deal. He just goes right for the Volt Switch, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. So what is he going to bring out? That's the question, because if he Scarf Lele, he'll go to that. If he Scarf Hard Chomp, he'll go to that, I think. I mean, he could just go on to, like, Specs Lele. He knows it takes a hit. And just click Moonblast. I don't have any great Moonblast switch-ins. Volcarona is really good here. After I Quiver Dance, I pretty much force him to sack Tapu Lele just to go Halucha, and that thing can't set up on me, so... That's a scenario that I'm actually looking at right here. Trying to Quiver Dance up just to, like, force those Pokemon out, so... Goes uh, Mega Beedrill right now. I'm going to Power Gem in regular form, hoping he Poison Jabs. As he goes for Drill Run and crits me, so I probably live that because I didn't Mega Evolve and knocked him out. Deontay. Let's go ahead and just put Uber Offensive. This is regular Deontay, right? Against Beedrill. Yeah, we definitely live Drill Run, I think. Drill Run from 250 Track Mega Beedrill, and we would have knocked him out with Power Gem, I think. Yeah, there's no way that thing took a power gem. Unfortunate crit right there. He just definitely forgot that I couldn't, that I had the potential to not Mega Evolve, but that's pretty bad. Nothing I can do about that, though. Just gotta move on. I'll go out here into my Landers T. You turn out as he hopefully goes back to Rotom, and maybe we can have the scenario happen at least where he's forced to sack some Pokemon. Ah, oh, we would be so golden right now if it wasn't for that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna go Volcarona. This works too, basically. I don't care if he Leech Sheeds me, I can just go ahead and Quiver Dance up Knight here. As he goes through the Leech Sheet and misses, that's really good for me. Because I can Flamethrower now. Knock that out, and... He gets forced to Tapu Lele, yeah, and I can just go ahead and Bug Z this thing. Knock that out, and now he's forced to go Halucha. So this is the scenario that I did envision. As I can go right here for the uh, Flamethrower. As he is gonna try to set up, which... He's able to take it because of the Spidef boost, which makes sense. Tapu Koko should live anything, though. I know he's acrobaticsing right here. Do I sack this? Yeah, let's sack this Pokemon. We get the Flame Body Burn. Ooh. Okay, let's bring this out now. Hit this man up with a nice HP Ice, I think. There's the Head Jump Kick. That would have done more, but it wouldn't have knocked me out, which is the main thing right now. So, he can go Beedrill. Which he is going to bring out right there. I'll go Lander ST. As he goes right for the uh, knockoff, which is pretty bad. I was kind of hoping to win with the Scarf EQ, but I think Tapu Fini alone might be able to win after we knock this out. So he turns out probably into the uh, Rotom Wash right here. Yeah, there's the Rotom. So I can go ahead and bring out my Tapu Coco now. Hit this with a nice T-Bolt. We got a crit and knock that out. I mean, he crit my Deontay, which would have been a great late game right now. I can just bring in my... It's good to keep this for pressuring Garchomp, but I don't think Landorus lives ahead anyway, so there's a Poison Jab. So he's just trying to knock me out with this right now. But, actually, this might be able to win. I gotta keep Lando right here and sack off Hoopa. Just for the Intimidate pressure, that can definitely help out late game. There's his uh, Chomper. I gotta bring this out and hope he's not Scarf. Which he might be. Or maybe he'll pivot to Beedrill. Nope. Salak Berry SD. Okay, I'm not even mad about that. I'm mad about the crit onto my Deontay, but I'm not mad about Salak Berry SD. I'm not even that mad about the crit onto my Deontay. That's a really cool set. And it looks like it's going to be able to win for him right here. Salak Berry SD. I've run Salak Berry in Draft League. Never seen that actually used right here. But uh, Beedrill definitely just comes out and uh, wins the game. And, uh, yeah, nothing I can do about that. I'll go ahead and, I guess, just Moonblast. And Earthquake now. He, that's, he's definitely going to be able to knock me out. I'll drop a GG in the chat. And a really cool tech. I really thought we had that late game. The crit onto my Deontay was really big, though. I'm not going to deny that. My crit onto his Zordon wasn't as big because I got the damage that I needed off for my Tapu Fini anyway. But really cool tech with the Garchamp right there. And I'll be right back with another game. All right, so we're coming off three losses now, which is kind of unfortunate. We should have won the last one for sure, though. Like, if he didn't crit the drill run and I knocked him out with Power Gem right there, that was his main win condition gone. But right here, we're facing another B drill, so maybe we can have the same thing happen where we don't Mega Evolve, and they think they can knock me out. Hopefully, I kind of want to see that. But uh, besides that, he has the uh, 
this thing right here. Uh, he might go for the Encore turn one. I'm just going to go ahead and lead off here with my Feeny. He leads off with Lander's T. I'll just taunt here. I don't want a rocks. Well, he's, he's going to have a rocks on Shuckle, which means this is probably like some sort of SD set. So let me go ahead and Moonblast. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't taunt turn one. As we get a really clean crit onto that, that's good. And I'll switch out now into my Lander's. Well, actually, what is Taipo Feeny really good for? Absolutely nothing is the answer here. Let me just Moonblast again. As we are able to take that hit right there. And weaken this lander is really low, which is a really big threat to my team, which is cool. Uh, I want my rocks up at some point. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll Moonblast here. We risk Stone Edge missing, which is... I don't agree with, but let's go ahead and go here into my... Into my Deontay right now, because it can prevent the sticky webs from the one Pokemon. And I can just go ahead and uh, Moonblast right now. And knock out Landorus right there, so that's pretty good for us. Uh, I'm pretty sure we knock out Bisharp in one hit. But really? Bisharp? I'm probably switching out anyway, like this could be Assault Vest Bisharp. Uh, that's a regular Deontay, and regular Deontay is not very strong. Mega's a roll too, so yeah, no point in risking this. Let's switch out here into Coco on that Iron Head, which is totally cool with me. I'll go ahead and click, hit him with hit him with a nice Magnet Vulture right here, as he really stayed in on that. Which which expendable? Volcarona is pretty good right here. Yeah, uh, Hoopa. Hoopa is not very good right here. Let's bring that out on uh, the next Iron Head. I'll try to Hyper Space Fury right here. He's gonna Sucker Punch, of course. And uh, now I can just bring out Deontay again to once again prevent those sticky webs. And I'll just go ahead and I'm going to Stealth Rock up. And now I'm going to Moonblast. Because those rocks are going to be helpful against Beedrill and breaking the Sash on the Shuckle. If it is Sash, I think it should be Mental Herb, but this knocks me out every time. So, But at the point at the point is my Lander is kind of wins now. So let's just go ahead and sack off Coco right here, which is uh, not the most useful Pokemon right now. Bring this out. Click Earthquake right here. Because Shuckle's not doing anything to Mega Deontay, so I can just bring that out on that. Knock that out. Is he Scarf Lele? Scarf Lele could win right here with Psy Shock. Now he goes Mimikyu. My play is always to stand and break this disguise and then knock him out after. Because there's no way Shadow Sneak's picking me off, yeah. Okay, now Psy Shock can win if he Scarf with Psy Shock. There's Tapu Lele. He is not Choice Scarf, which is good for me. So let's finish this off with Mega Deontay now. Well, he could... No, he can't, He could be Modest Scarf. He's just going to go ahead and forfeit right there. So yeah, I think we played that one pretty well right there. Preserved our Deontay for the Shuckle. Kind of in, confused as to why I didn't lead the Shuckle, but I guess I should have led with Deontay expecting it. But we actually led off with Feeny on the Landers, which kind of worked out for us. And I'll be right back with another game. All right, and our final match right here is going to be up against Drain. I'm going to try to catch the Swampert early. He actually leads off with Tapu Koko, which is a weird lead in my opinion. I'll go here into my Lander's T. I want to try to catch this this thing coming in. He goes right for the Volt Switch. I'll just go ahead and... Let's U-turn out. I want to try to get myself into that position where he goes Pelipper. I bring out Coco and Grass Knot into the Swampert. That's pretty much what I'm hoping for. So that's what we're going to try to do right now. Hit this command up with the Grass Knot and hopefully he goes Swampert and not Ferrothorn. And uh, we do a lot of damage to Swampert, basically. Yep, there's the Swampert. This will do a lot. Just straight up, straight up knocks it out right there, and uh, that's going to be really good for us. Swampert was a giant threat to my team. He still has the Grand. We have Tapu Fini to kind of put that in check right there. Goes a uh, Ferrothorn now, so I'll just Volt out. As I'm sure he'll go right here for the uh, Leech Sheet or something. I'll just bring out my Hoopa. No, I'll just go Landers. There's no reason to go Hoopa. As I'll go right here for the... Knockoff is probably an alright play right here. I mean, he has his Mega Gun. Let's just hit this up with the knockoff right now. As we knock off probably the Rocky Helmet, he gets a Parox. Kind of annoying. I can defog later, though. Uh, I need to somehow weaken this. Okay, let's go Hoopa now. On the Gyro Ball. Honestly, I'm alright with taking all that damage as long as I got my... As long as I get my Hyperspace Fury off. 
because this is going to do a lot of damage and it won't co make contact with him either so well, he won't put me in range of the rocks basically. He can knock me out for all I care. I just want all that nice damage off right there. Yeah, now I can pretty much just go... He still has pressure with that thing. Alright, I can't go Volcarona just yet. Especially since he can get the rain back up too. Right, a little bit tricky situation right here. I don't really know what to bring out. What knocks him out, basically, is the question. Can Deontay knock this out? Deontay? Against... Ferrothorn. I should run the nature power Deontay set sometime. It should be fire does that much. Or power is not knocking this out. 21 to 25 against really spit F. Alright, come on, don't low roll me, please. This should knock it out. Yeah, okay, good. And uh, now he's forced to go Gran, I think. He can't really bring out... I mean, he can go Magnet Coco. Or even, like, it's not gonna be HP Steel Torn. Maybe... Yeah, there's the Gran. Feeny's always the player right here. Because I can't let him get his Battle Bond. He knows I'm going Feeny too, yeah. He goes to Coco, which is the smarter play. Once again, I can't sack this off, so I just... Sack off my Lando. He might actually be in a good spot right here to win. But at this point, my, my own type of Coco does a lot of work here too. And he should know I'm not letting that thing take damage, yeah. So I can just U-turn out right here. He needs to start playing really offensively, so he might T-ball right here. I could see that play. No, he goes Pelipper. So now I get a kill with Magnet Thunderbolt. Well, not a kill, but if he goes Tapu Coco, obviously I'm not knocking it out. But uh, it might get to it KO'd. Just because of Electric Terrain. If I had Thunder right here, that would be a cool tech against Terrain, but... You would never run Thunder anyway. So let's go ahead and just T-Bolt right here. Best play for sure. This should 2 it KO. Yeah. I can just T-Bolt again now. What is that, Gigavolt Havoc? That might knock me out, but it doesn't even knock me out. Okay, cool. We get rid of that. I need to Defog because after the rocks are gone, I just bring in Tapu Koko and T-Bolt the last two mons. And I don't really have a... I guess Deontay can do the same thing. Ghost Torn. What? This definitely goes down to T-Bolt. Is he Scarf? Does it get priority? Nope, it just goes down. I'm Magnet under terrain, man. <laughs> That's not living. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and forfeit, and we're gonna go ahead and end off the session right there. So, we managed to pick up a couple wins at the end right there. I think we ended off at 4-3. and three. Overall, I really like the team. Unfortunate match. Uh, definitely think we should have been 5-2. and two with that whole crit onto my Deontay, but it's alright, that's the game we play, and the team will be down below in the description, in case you guys do want to try it out, of course. If you are new, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you next time. Later.